Okay, as I start up, I hear the rain uh, begin to thud down. I'm currently sat in my car. I'm going to try and attempt a uh, GPS test um, of the Nexus One versus the Samsung Galaxy S. Um, it's not going to be easy. I'm going to have to put the camera down while I try and press the GPS satellite so I'm turning on at the same time. Then I'll pick the camera back up and we'll see how quickly they lock. So I've started up and I've opened up GPS status. Now that looks to me like the, the Galaxy S has locked on a lot quicker. So right now the M1 is still is still thinking. But the Galaxy S has, has locked on way, way before. The uh, Galaxy S with a much lower uh, run. Oops, we've lost it. They are slightly different as well, so we're going to have a look at. Um, tell you the yen one is more accurate I would guess by see where's that going it's moving the Samsung one sliding down whereas the N one has stayed exactly where it was so the N one is still moving very odd where's the thing I'm going So the M1 took a lot longer to lock on, but that is a much more accurate fix, I can tell you. The Galaxy S seems to have stopped moving me. I mean, I don't think it's gonna, I don't think it's gonna affect you greatly. That can't be more than, well, I'm gonna guess, no more than 10, 15 meters wrong, but it is wrong nevertheless. And now it's gradually creeping back towards where the M1 is. I can't imagine when you're using sat nav that that's going to uh, going to cause you any great problems. Um, so, well, I suppose your 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 choice really. In fact, that's probably closer than about five meters now. Well, there we go. So we've got the Samsung Galaxy S on the left and the Nexus One on the right with a GPS test. Hemadroids.net.